Hello you guys, welcome back to day two of decorating. If you haven't already seen my first video, my first video I did just my tree and my um, fireplace. I have to split my decorating into sections and sessions because I have lots of places that I decorate and my space is very large. So I can't do it all in one day, I, I can't do it, I can't do it. So I literally just focus on my fireplace and my tree and I, I've i never, I don't think, been happier with the way my tree turned out. I did a full on icicle tree, which let me just, it, it is so beautiful. It is my favorite. I love it so much and it came out exactly how I imagined. Now we have another section of my house to do and this section usually takes me a while because when it comes to merchandising things, I used to be a visual merchandiser for like a retail store and I am extremely like finicky and picky about the way things look. I have to take things off, put things back on, move things around about 60 times until I figure out exactly how I want it. So I already knew that entire section I needed to do in one video because I, there's no way. Like I'm looking at it right now and I'm already just like, what am I gonna do? Where am I gonna put this stuff? Because it's a big table, like my entryway table. There's a mirror on there. I like to put garland. I have a lamp. I have a vase. I have so much, so much that goes on this table. And I also have everything from this table is also going to be dispersed around my house. So I'm going to put some stuff on the coffee table. I'm going to put some stuff in my kitchen, some stuff in my bar area, and some stuff in my guest bathroom. So all of this is not meant to be for this table. There's a lot, you guys. A lot of this has been... Um, like picked up over time i've had so much of this for years and years and then i have like a couple of things that i've picked up this year so today we are going to be decorating my entryway table and we're going to trickle into the kitchen a little bit um they're not a, not a lot goes into my kitchen but i still do like to add little touches i like to bring out my christmas uh towels and things like that and then if i'm not too overwhelmed and if there's not too much out and if it doesn't take me too long, then we'll also do my coffee table and my dining room area. I'm gonna leave my bar and my guest bathroom for another video because the bar, I'm also very meticulous about that as well. And I like it to look a very specific way. So the bar is gonna be another video with the guest bathroom, but for today, we're going to focus on the entry area, the kitchen and the dining room. So let me show you guys what we're gonna be having to work with and then we're gonna get started. So I was not kidding when I said there was a lot on this table. We have a lot to work with. I have stuff on here that is just like always there, like this big um, flower arrangement, my lamp, my mirror, which I will take all of this off, clean it down and then start putting things up again. So we have, when I tell you a little bit of everything, this is my dog, so this is gonna go away. But I have different nutcrackers, I have candlestick holders, I have bells, I have a paper towel holder that I need to throw away. Um, I have tons of ribbon. This is when I pull out all of my candlestick holders because I am a collector of those. My reindeer, I have it's just so much my garland more Christmas trees my letters to Santa mailbox that I absolutely love and I have some stuff This is all gonna go for outside, but We've got a lot of stuff So I'm going to remove everything that's on here and then we're gonna go little by little and start filling this baby up So we always got to start by cleaning everything off the table and I wasn't kidding you guys, I think almost all of my Christmas decor was sitting on this table. It's so big that it allows me to really see every single thing that I have um, without forgetting anything that I have. So first, take everything off the table so that we can wipe it down and start with a completely clean slate. There's something about this table that every single time I redecorate it, I always switch around where the lamp and the mirror are. I don't know what it is, but I always switch it around. So I started off with putting kind of the focal pieces onto the table first. So I always start off with my record player, which is from Amazon. I will link it down below for you guys. And I swapped out my Billie Eilish record 
for my Frank Sinatra Christmas vinyl, which is also from Amazon, so I can easily link that for you guys. Christmas is not Christmas without Frank Sinatra. It is just, it's just the right thing. So I brought that out and also brought out my Letters for Santa mailbox. I got this gold one last year at Michael's and they don't have it in gold this year. They have it in like a emerald green. So I will link that one below for you guys. Um, I personally like the gold one better, but who knows, you might like the green one. This gold little bell is one of my favorite Christmas decor items that I own in my collection. I got it last year from Target. It's the Studio McGee collection and I have no idea if they brought it back. I hope they did because it is literally one of my favorite things that I own for my Christmas decor. Uh, same with this little acrylic reindeer. I've had it for probably five or six years, but I did see it this year at, I believe it was Marshall's. Um, so if you're into that look or you want to get something like it, they definitely had something really similar, if not identical at my local Marshall's. Then it was time to put my Christmas tree candlesticks up and a really, really good trick that I learned a couple of years ago is to make sure that you light the bottom of your candlesticks before you put them into the candlestick holders. You'll see me doing it here and what it does is it melts the wax and then once you put the wax into the, like you let it drop into the top of the candlestick holder, you put the candle in place and as the wax hardens, it holds the candle in place so that nothing topples over. So a couple of these candlesticks were a little bit too small for the candlestick holder. So I just melted the bottoms, stuck the candle in there and then waited for it to dry and it hardens perfectly and holds it in place. Then it was time to put up my garland. I got this garland a couple of years ago at Amazon and it's one of my favorites. I love the fluffiness of it. It's, I believe, cedar if I'm not mistaken, and it comes with the twinkly lights already. The little bow that's on there, I got from an antique shop. I got a roll of ribbon, and it was this beautiful, rich, reddish burgundy color with gold trimming, and I thought it would be perfect as a little bow. So I put that on there, and it's literally one of my favorites. I did it last year, and I literally just kind of fixed up the bow, and it ended up being perfect. I love it so much. Then it was time to light the candles, which gives it, obviously, the most twinkly, pretty, cozy, warm vibe. Moving into the kitchen, I do like to keep it slightly simple because I cook a lot and because of how much I cook, I'm not trying to clutter my space. So these candles here are from Home Goods a couple of years ago. They say Feliz Navidad and I love them. And then in my little coffee nook area, I put this Christmas tree cutting board, charcuterie board thing. I cannot remember where I got it. Probably Target, if I'm not mistaken, a couple of years ago. And then I just added a nutcracker just to, you know, tie in some of the red that I have there. There is a wreath that I put in my kitchen and I can't find it, so I have to buy a new one. But overall, this is how everything turned out. I am super, super happy with it and I will see you guys in the next one. So that concludes today's decorate with me. I am very happy with the way everything turned out. I love it so much. Next up is going to be bathroom and bar. Um, so I will see you guys then.